3D challenge was to try and create the most realistic X-Wing model that you could in the time available. Um, so today's winner was Aaron. Here's the model that he created. I've made this X-Wing. Model number 3 that I've created. Okay, so we've got five minutes in today's five minute tutorial to try and show you how to get started creating your own X-Wing in Blender. So if we start from the default cube, um, start the timer, um, and then first thing that we're going to do is to create um, a reference image. So I'm going to left click away from the cube, shift and A to add, and um, we'll add an empty, an image, and then click on the propeller over here and open to choose um, your picture. I've downloaded a picture of an X-Wing. You can just search on Google Images. Anyone will be fine. Mine's pretty small. You don't want a massive image, otherwise it slows Blender down. Okay, so I'm going to rotate it with RX90 Enter and RZ90 Enter um, to rotate it so that it's facing um, the camera at the moment. Uh, so this is going to be our reference image. We'll try and turn this cube into this X-Wing. So right click on your cube, S to scale, make it a little bit smaller, and we'll start with this. Imagine this cube is here in the bodywork. So let's go into edit mode by pressing tab and control and tab to get face select mode so that we can right click on the front bit and we're going to drag it out towards the nose cone here. So E to extrude, S to make it a bit smaller, S and Z to squidge it down in the Z axis and um, the nose kind of sticks out, it's kind of a lumpy bit just here. So E and bring it out a tiny bit, S and then make it a bit bigger, E to extrude and then S, Z to make it nice and small, maybe S, Y to squidge it in in the Y direction. So that's the nose. Now we want to pull out the sort of hull section. So I'm pushing in the mouse wheel to have a look around. Um, right click at the back. Rather than extrude this time, we'll press G to grab and X to pull it out just a little bit. And I'd like to be able to split this section into three, a top, a middle and a bottom. So I'm going to use Control and R for a loop cut. Pop your mouse over the back face and scroll up until you get two purple lines. And that just splits um, so that we've got three sections here. Go back into face select mode with control and tab, and we can right click to select the section that's going to become this wing. So E to extrude, and then S to scale, G, Z to grab up a little bit. Do the same with the bottom wing, so E, and then S, and then G, and then Z. So that's going to be our wings. It would be nice if we could mirror it so that both wings are copied across to the other side. So if we click on the spanner for the modifiers, add a mirror modifier and make it in the x-axis but sorry turn the x-axis off but mirrored in the y-axis okay so next we're going to try and get um, the sort of thrusters working so i'm going to do this as a separate object so press tab to go into object mode left click so you're away from the model so it's a bit less confusing and then shift and a will add a mesh which is a cylinder rx90 oops escape ry90 so that it's facing the right orientation Shift A, let's add a cube, scale it up a bit with S, G, Z, and you want the cube to cover part, like exactly or close enough to be half of the cylinder, um, because there's only half of a cylinder for the thrusters here. So if we start with the cylinder selected, so right click on the cylinder, add a modifier, and we're going to go for a Boolean modifier. Choose the cube that we've just added as the object, and at the moment it's set to intersect mode. If we set it to difference mode and then apply it, the cube will have chopped off part of the cylinder. And we can get rid of the cube, press X to delete it, um, and then we've got our thruster. Okay, so right click on the thruster, right click um, on the um, rest of the X wing by pressing Shift and right click. So we've got both selected. Control and J to join them, and as soon as you join them, you'll notice the mirror modifier also copies it across. So if we go into um, edit mode, right click on part of your thruster, and Control and L will select all of the vertices or all of the faces that are linked to what you had selected. So let's try and put it in the right place, make it roughly the right size with um, S and G and R, X. Uh, let's try and put it in the right place. You might find it easy to use quad view, control, alt, and Q, just to position it into roughly the right sort of place. Control, alt, and Q again. There we go. Okay, so we're going to duplicate it, shift and D. And then before we click to finish off where it's duplicated to, I'm going to press Z to lock it in the Z direction. And then R, 
and then um, y90, no, r y180 to rotate it, and then g z. There we go. Okay, so we've got about 20 seconds left. Um, haven't got enough time to do the weapon systems, but all you do is add a little cylinder and extrude it across. Then you can add some materials and you've kind of got a little um, X-Wing that you can play around with. Hope it's enough to get you started. I hope it's been useful. Um, see what you can create. Thanks very much for watching.